a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the third and final match between White and Gosifer to see who goes on to the winner's match in BSL Season 13 Group C, Hasu League. Bottom right hand corner, we have Gosifer. Once again, it's going to be Black versus White again. Um, bottom right hand corner as the Black Protoss 12 o'clock location, White. Very conveniently. It would be frustrating if Gosifer chose White and then White was Black and then it would have, anyway, would have been confusing. Very chess-like selection between these two guys. So you got the mirror matchup in PvP, the color selection. This is going to be on Aztec, which again, I believe, said it time time again, favors early aggression. Seems like in the mirror build situations, which we may see on this map, Gosifer seems to just have the slight edge, which led him to victory in game one. However, in the field of creativity, and strategery strategery it looked like white had the slight edge in game two otherwise feels like both of these players are very evenly matched very evenly matched indeed so much so that i'm like am i this is about as mirrored a matchup as i've seen in game one first gateway down for white I'm almost wondering, is this, it would be suicide, I think, to go for a 12 Nexus here. But Gosefer almost looks like he is saving up to potentially go for a 12 Nexus of his own. And this is, this is not, yeah, he's going to go for a 12 Nexus. This was a huge mistake, in my opinion. First of all, he's going to get scouted immediately by White. White's opened up two gate, so that's going to be an instant loss. And this is a three-player map on Aztec. You, it's so hard to retake that ramp. So White scouts the 12 Nexus as it's happening. This almost feels like a revenge sort of thing for Ghostfur. It's like, oh, you want cheesy 12 Nexus? I'm going to go cheesy 12 Nexus. Now getting that gateway, but this is not what he wanted to go up against. Gateway behind this, second pylon in the main, and I think White has to be... I mean, I would be chuckling in the midst of this. Stole some minerals. This almost feels like a, a build order victory to me. Forge warping in. But the first zealot's on its way. Two more zealots shortly after. And all White has to do is flood units to Gosefer's base. You can ignore this Nexus initially, actually. And just walk right into the, the line. That'll force cannons in the back mineral line. This first pylon being warped in. So the first zealot just now being produced for Gosefer. And we've already got three zealots fielded fourth and fifth on the way sorry two zealots one two three seeing the zealots incoming now let's see if there's going to be a prevent because the cannon needed to be dropped in the main now this cannon warping in but there's already going to be a zealot on top of it with more coming the probe is going to be able to group up this deck that's a cancellation so now it's going to be zealots and probes to defend for gosifer a second cannon trying to warp in but it's going to be moments actually a proxy pylon it's going to be moments before additional zealots rejoin the fray. Another proxy pawn. Is he going to shield battery? I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for an aggressive shield battery in the midst of this. Cannon about halfway finished. White re-engaging the probe, doing a lot of damage. The probes did not box out around that cannon. So that cannon needs to be canceled as well. More cannons marching their way across. The probe getting it in the midst of this. Battle probes. And another cannon trying to get warped in. White... Walking his way back with an injured zealot, but this is a mistake because it looks like, yeah, he's going to get boxed out of location. Third zealot regrouping, a second zealot out for Gosifer, a desperate defense, and you can just see the troops flooding down from White. I got to say, though, White or Gosifer putting up a pretty good defense thus far. Is that cannon going to warp in? Zealots engaging on zealots right here. The cannon is going to finish, but it's three versus one currently. I believe once these fifth, fourth and fifth zealots re-engage, they can just cycle around and continue the attack. This zealot walking forward, looking to go ahead. It was trying to breach through the main. That was a bit of a mistake, I think. I'm not sure if that was miscontrol and trying to make the best out of a bad situation. But I take it back. Gosefer holds. Still behind in his overall probes. Nexus being grabbed from white behind this. More zealots marching forward. I still think he's going to have more shots at this. And more zealots continuing to flood forward. So it's just zealot, 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 zealot. 
also grabbing that assimilator. Now re-engaging, he just has an overwhelming amount of troops. First cannon down. Probes weren't there to defend off the line. So wiping that off. This ult's taking a lot of damage. And again, he can just wait for more Zealot reinforcements and press back in. Did get himself supply capped a little bit. In the midst of all of this. And I still haven't seen a probe move down and do anything with these proxy pylons. Which I really want to see, to be honest. Double the supply count currently for White. He's also got an economic lead in the midst of this. Now re-engaging. The probes were there. They, and also those probes weren't mining. This cannon going to be cancelled. And the probe's not able to stop these zealots from careening into that second cannon. I believe that is game. Probes, battle probes coming off the line. There is GG. Gosefer getting caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Very fast match. So we're going to see Gosefer move to the loser's match. We'll see White go to the winner's match. Regardless, I feel like that was an extremely even match. As far as just a full set. So I would not be shocked if we see these guys back in the final. To, it would be an interesting uh, replay at the final, I guess, if that it ends up. Uh, I guess we'll have to see what happens with Thebus and Too Sexy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.